What's going on everyone? Welcome to the great west cold north. We're heading to South Dakota. It is December, what is it? December, I don't even know. Fifth. Fifth? December 5th, 6th, something like that. We're heading out to chase some mule deer, potentially whitetail. There's a little bit of both, but our target's definitely gonna be mule deer. It is gonna be a cold one. We're calling like some single digits, a lot of wind. Um, but we've been in this spot. Roy was along with us last year. It's just me this year. Roy actually headed out earlier in the year. Um, so it's gonna be a fun week. We're gonna see what we can get into. Hopefully we can find some bucks. guys day number one morning number one it's a brisk three degrees and uh, we're seeing a couple mule deer but we're driving to a spot um, I've never been to before Roy's been to before when he came out here earlier said there was some decent action going on so we're gonna go in there walk around see what's up try not to freeze to death um, but this super cold weather should get the deer moving so I'm excited to get out there see what we can find Hopefully put a stock on a buck and whack one. That's the goal. <laughs> Gloves, hand warmers, cameras, release. Should be good. on this hill, we won't be able to see a long ways. We'll sit and glass a while. Yeah, I can see a lot above his head. There's, oh, there's another good one. Dude, we're in on bumping does around. That's awesome. Yeah, I think he has something decent above his head. I see a lot of deer, which is always a good sign. They're still a way long ways away, but they're still on public. They're still in a good spot. I'm gonna dissect everything though, and then kind of see what we got to mess around with. This bunch is more appealing than this bunch though, just where they're at right now. Found the box. They're bedded in a, in a decent spot. It could be in a worse spot. It's still super calm. Wind's picking up a little bit. But we're gonna dive down in this bottom, come around, get the wind right, get a little above them. Probably, it's probably gonna be like 150 yards above them. Then we'll just see what the terrain looks like over there. We're still, right now, probably six, 700 yards away. So we got a big loop we gotta do. Keep our wind right, stay out of sight. back seven miles deep we got about two hours of light um, so we're just gonna drive around try to find some more deer but we had a really uneventful rest of the day hopefully we find some this afternoon
Good morning. Welcome to 19 degree, 10 mile an hour wind. We're gonna hike into some new ground and uh, see what we can find. Just looking on hunt wise last night, trying to figure out where to go. So we have no idea what we're gonna find, if we're gonna find anything. But if we do, it'll be super rewarding. Onward. Good morning everyone. We are gonna go check out some new ground this morning. Way far away from where we were yesterday. Just trying some new stuff. Hopefully some bucks are over here. A little more uh, vegetation and stuff on uh, this, this hill and in these cuts. So hopefully that has the, the deer held up in it. Four geese. Did you see any? No. I have another than the one we saw already. I think we're gonna bail. All right, we're down off the mountain now. We saw, we saw so many deer. We probably saw 70 or so deer between does and little spikes and forkers. We could see a long ways, but nothing substantial. Um, last year, if you guys watched the video last year, we met up with Caden uh, and Roy actually shot a deer out here last year. Well, his brother, Connor, hit us up. He's, he's out here right now, so we're actually gonna go meet up with him. And um, I don't know, we might, might try to get on some deer or whatnot, but he's out here hunting too. So we're gonna meet up with him now see what he has to say, and uh, try not to run off the road, and we'll be all set. All right, things escalated fast. We came around, and they spotted a good buck up in here earlier in the day, and we hiked up here to find him, and we just found him, and he's like right over this hill. So we're gonna go try to kill him. Morning number four? Is yeah. it morning four? It's morning four. We're driving around uh, with Cody and Connor, checking out checking out some more spots. We haven't seen, well, we've seen a couple mule deer so far this morning, but nothing really on public or where we can hunt, so. Oh, look at those guys right there. Oh, that's a bear up there. Little forky guy right there, so. But it's just a matter of time, we'll turn something up. We're gonna keep driving around. It's really windy today um, and cold again. So I'm kind of dreading getting out of the truck. But we'll see, hopefully we can turn something up here soon. Get on them. off to the 
the side. We just couldn't see them, and they'd spotted us. But they just bumped. They're like 200 yards right now, just chilling. So I think after, you know, 15 minutes or so, they might calm down. Just spotted a good one right here. I'm just we're checking these guts. He's a, probably the best one we've seen so far. Definitely should peek over that next hill last and see what's up. <laughs> Arrow is so hard to find if the fleckings aren't right. it's snapped off or something.
I just, I got a good range and I just dialed and I clicked in to go shoot, you know? Like if I just ranged on where he was and dialed in your back and if he kept walking, I would have done the same thing. 